For this video, I'm going to talk about escape sequences, and just the ones that are on the screen. There are a few more, but these are d special things that you can do in your output. Now, I've created a new class called Sports here, and uh, in this class, I have to remember I need a main method. So let's see, that's PSVM tab, and that will get me what I need there. Beginning In the very beginning stages, it's hard to understand what this really means, but later on in Java, you, you'll understand what that means. Um, but it is required. I need to have that. The, the main method there is the list of directions for my program. And I'm going to do some output statements here. So the first output statement, I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to make it put my favorite sports. Okay. And like this. So it's going to put that. Remember here I have a print ln so that it's going to um, really basically hit enter after this and go down to a new line. And then I'm going to add uh, a list of some of my favorite sports. Now, I could do it this way. I can go one and then dot uh, or space and soccer. And then I'll just do another one. Uh, this is going to take a little while. Maybe I'll keep my list uh, shorter. Football and three. I'll go with uh, softball. All right, now. So there's just a list of three. It's kind of just a basic list. And I want to talk about, okay, there's nothing really new here. I'm just doing some basic output statements. But there's some things that I should know. Okay, if I run this and shift F6 and just run this thing real quick, it'll, it'll do the output that we, that we should see here. It's my favorite sports. It'll list my three favorite sports there. And now, escape sequences, I need to understand what they do. So some of the, the escape sequences that I'm going to look at uh, are, remember, I'm just making a comment right now, so this is nothing. But there is the backslash n, which is like a new line. It's like hitting enter on the keyboard. There is the backslash t, that's like hitting tab. So if you want to tab in your output, you'd use that. There is the uh, slash uh, quotation mark. If you want to print a quotation mark, that's how you would do it. If there is a slash um, apostrophe, so if you need an apostrophe to show up, that's how you would do that. And then there, for now, a slash slash, if you want to print the actual uh, slash character there. So those are the ones that I'm going to discuss in this video. Uh, just not necessarily in this order, but I'm going to I'll start with the tab. Let's look at this one, this tab right here. Because maybe in my output I would like for this these numbers to be tabbed out. Uh, and so maybe I'll take even take out the period on each of these. And if I go slash T, Java knows that I want a tab to happen right there. So I'm gonna do that on each of these. I'm gonna go slash T and slash T here. So what what's really going to output? It's going to output the number one. It's going to hit tab and give me a bunch of space, and then it's going to print soccer. And the same with two and three. So I'll run this output just to show you what's happening here. And there it is. See, is my favorite sports one tab soccer, two tab football, three tab softball, uh, and that's great if you want to build tables. So if you if you like ideas of tables or you want to format some output into tables, or you're thinking like a spreadsheet output. Uh, this this is a nice feature to have just for um, formatting. So that's the slash t. Now the slash n, the slash n is new line. So notice the new line is like hitting enter. So it's kind of you know interesting how this ln does a new line on the output. But if I were to get rid of that ln and I were to decide to at the end of this line do a slash n, it does the exact same thing. Okay, it does the exact same thing where this slash n will actually hit enter for me. So really, if I were to take all of these lns off, and this last one doesn't really matter, but I'll just be consistent, and I were to put the slash n at the end, and now it, it can't go here. If I put it after the quote, I'm going to get an error pop up. These escape sequences, it's very important that you realize Escape sequences have to be inside the quotation marks, inside the output. So it would need to be right inside there. If I don't put it inside, I'm going to get an error. Escape sequences have to be inside the quotes. So now, I know that my code starts to look a little bit confusing. 
but here's what I have. I have my favorite sports, hit enter. One, tab over soccer, hit enter. Two, tab over football, hit enter. Three, tab over softball, hit enter. And this output should look the same. Exact same output. Now, what's really weird is, I know it seems kind of pointless and really confusing, but if I, I could actually take these four output statements and I could turn them into one. Now, personally, I don't like this because it just is really hard to read when it comes to me trying to read the code, but if I were to take these out, this output, and I were to dump it right here, okay, and same with this, if I were to take this out and I were to dump it right here, and the same with this one, now, in reality, I've only used one line of code, where before I had four, so my program's a lot shorter, but I will fully admit it's way harder to read. But it's important to understand what this output is. This output does say, my favorite sports, here's your enter, go to the next line, and then it lists off one tab soccer, hit enter, two tab football, hit enter, three tab softball, hit enter. When I run this code, I get the exact same output here. Okay, the beauty of it is, maybe uh, I want to hit enter, maybe this part right down here in my output, my favorite sports, maybe I'd like to have a blank line in there. And I could do that right here. If I add two dash ends, it's going to hit enter twice, and when I run this, you can see that I get basically two enters down here. Here's the first ent enter that gets me here, here's the second enter that gets me here. Okay, so that's the use of the slash n is like hitting enter when you use it inside the quotes. The slash t is like hitting tab. And these last three are just whenever you want to use a certain symbol. Because let's say I want to print a quotation mark. You're going to quote somebody. You know, my friend says, and then I want to print quote, uh, hello. Okay, and I want to print the quote. Now notice I've got a problem. Because uh, here's my error, my big sign that there's an error. Remember with the output statements, you have a quote starts what you want to output, and a quote ends what you want to output. And so right now, the computer is asking, what on earth do you want me to do? You told me to start printing here and end printing there, and then you added a bunch of garbage over here. So if you actually want to print the quote, okay, notice I'll delete this one and this one, and I'm back to just a normal perfect output statement. But if I want to actually print a quotation mark, then I need to add slash quote because the computer knows, hey, uh, you want to print me a quotation mark right there. All right? And then I need to go slash quote. Now, this is a common error right here that I've just made. Notice the slash I've used. I've used the incorrect slash, and it's a big warning because I've got this error showing up now. Well, always use the, that slash. The, always use that. Now I need a second quote to happen here because I actually want to quote hello. So slash quote will print you a hello and now when I run this program you can see my friend says quote hello quote. Uh, and so think of the escape sequences as these slash characters that do special things for me. I could do the exact same with the um, with the apostrophe so uh, if you wanted to print an apostrophe and you just go slash apostrophe and I'll do that just on a single line here um, and my line should have an apostrophe on it down here in the output and then of course you have the slash slash and that's you know a lot of times if you want to print a web address um, I'll just go visit my web page and then you know HTTP and now colon you want slash you actually want slash slash to show up so when you go to the internet, uh, if I open a browser here, and you want to give a web address, you want the full web address, okay, remember it's HTTP colon slash slash, uh, and, or, you know, that's a slash that doesn't give me any issues, but when I talk about file names and locations on a hard drive, okay, there are times where, oops, sorry, HTTP, I can go slash slash and that's no problem you can see I, I have no errors there okay but when I want the backslash to show up I will end up with some potential issues okay, and I 
the common issue here is if I do this, I go slash slash, and people think that you're gonna you're gonna print two slashes here. I'm gonna run this, and you notice that here it only printed one. It's very important to realize that it's not gonna print two. It's only printing one because slash has a meaning in Java, and here it has an error because in order to print a slash you actually have to do the first one for escape sequence and the second one to tell it what to do so I actually would have to do four slashes here the first set of two prints me one the second set of two prints me the other one I'll run this and I would have two slashes now so those are basic escape sequences just keep in mind they have to be done inside the quotation marks in your output and each one and what it does to your output. Formatting output uh, can be somewhat friendly and nice and helpful at times.